particularly interested in getting your thoughts on Ghana football. Um, you have had the privilege of leading it. And uh, Speaker of Parliament, you know, recently mentioned that the way Ghanaians handled Kwesi Nyantichi uh, rather put a dent in Ghana's image abroad. And uh, there were quite a number of who were unhappy because they thought that this was somebody who was smeared in you know, a corrupt act and was removed. How can you speak? Did the Speaker misspoke? Misspeak? No, that, that's, that's an interesting question. Yeah. Kwesi has worked on that name before. Right. Mm -hmm. I keep on saying, he's a hard working child. Himself, one Fred Papu. That gentleman, they call him investigator. What is his name? Anas Sarimi. That Anas Sarimi. Yes. I'm going to whatever the name is. <laughs> I have said time again that me, I don't respect his findings. Why? You want to know? Yes. I will tell you. Now, in investigative journalism, the idea is to spring a surprise. Now, if you have been able to gather your information, and certain names have been mentioned, you don't disclose it, you don't show the thing to the people. Hmm. In that, that particular program, the president name was mentioned. Yeah. Uh, who also? Uh, the vice name was mentioned and other people before the whole thing was shown to the general public I believe strongly the general public should be the first to see the mm -hmm. contents of that, that thing okay. you should hold it to your chest but well, that's why you are an investigative journalist. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment those at the top of affairs hear of them and their names are mentioned, they will take measures to clean themselves. And that is what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so in other words, there should have been more people held accountable. There were certain names taken out because they had prior knowledge of it. Exactly. The films were shown to them first. It is so sad. You see? But that's why I get confused about the democracy we are practicing. I don't get confused. A lot of people believe in that gentleman. That he was doing a clean job. But to me, no. Well, I have been following him carefully too. Right. Why do you disclose your findings before the general public gets to know about it? So those who were affected were able to cleanse themselves. And then, unfortunately, because Kusin uh, Techi is defenseless, well, everybody left him in the lurch. He faced the problem. But I can tell you that it was planned by his detractors. Mm. So wait, whether you, 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 it was planned or as some say, say he was trapped, yeah. if you are a person of integrity, regardless of the circumstances, no, listen, you will not be. Uh, listen, listen. Be caught. We were, if, you, if you even look at the money involved, right? They are peanuts. You follow me? Right. They are really peanuts. Unless we see himself. Is not particular or was not particular about certain things. When, when they set up a trap, you should be able to know it. Mm. You follow me? Because right. The boy was climbing gradually, and I'm telling you, but for that problem, he would have been the first African to hurt FIFA. Mm. I'm telling you. So, what the, 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 the speaker said is true. Okay. We have qualified for Qatar mm -hmm. on a limp. <laughs> uh, nobody, you know, expected that we would probably we draw in Nigeria in front of 60,000 fans, but we did draw and per the away goal rules, we go through. Um, GFA currently seems to have like a power sharing uh, situation with the Black Star coaching team. I mean, with Chris Hutting, technical advisor, there's Otuado who says he doesn't, currently doesn't even know his 
own uh, future, whether you know he wants to continue or, or not. Uh, what do you make well, of the system? Know his own future, he asked him whether he, does, whether he we asked him whether he stays. Says he doesn't know what you know the decision would be. He can't say anything about it. Yeah. What do you make of the arrangements we have, and if it's worked, uh, should they continue, or should we're also hearing that Chris Hughes could take over from Otuado? What do you make of the arrangement? I made a statement about that. Mm. The three gentlemen. Yes. Otuado, Chris Hilton, Okay. And then there was a third person who also came from Britain. George mm. uh, Boatin. Yes, Boatin. And then there was a local chap here. Right. I've forgotten the name. I think he was a goalkeeper. Right. Goal. Is it Kinson? No, not, not Kinson. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I think I know too. Yeah. Coach, I, 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 I've forgotten the yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. It's escaped. No. I said, listen to me carefully. Is it Didi Dramani? Didi oh, Dramani, okay. that's the name. Okay. I said that the state in which I found the, the team then, we need somebody who stays in this country with first. That, that was for that short period. Period, right. We need to get through the qualification, you mean? Absolutely. Okay, right. Who is strong and can really handle their boys and perform well. And I remember I mentioned the name of the president Kotoko coach. Uh, People really don't understand me. Yeah. You follow me? Yes. So, oh, you have your full boss. I have a problem with Kotoko coach. But I found something in the man. Right. He has changed the style of Kotoko. Kotoko is more aggressive. They are hungry for goals. Very fast energetic. That is modern football. Anytime they have a ball in the opponent's 18, you see about five, six players. Anybody can score. If you don't have good defense, they will score you. Right. So I mentioned that I would have preferred that man to be given that opportunity for that short period. Now, Otto Ado, I don't know him. At that time, somebody said, in fact, Jawa disagreed with me. The Jawa is my cousin, so he you know, disagreed with me, you know. I agree. Now, that my my point was that Otto Ado was amongst the first group who were to train these boys. Right. He never took part in anything. So that tells you he has no time for the boys. You follow me? Okay. Uh, the gender, the other gentleman whose who name you mentioned, the white guy. Um, Chris Hilton. Chris Hilton. He doesn't stay here with us. And I said, if in future we have really qualified and we want him, I have no problem with that. Right. The other one brought him to is not known to us. But there's one mistake we have been making all the time in football. We didn't start football today in this country. As of all, it's over 100 years. It's supposed to be the oldest club yeah. in this country, but we didn't start today. Now, if you watch carefully, all competitions that Ghana has won, especially African Cup of Nations, we won it twice in Nkuma's time. Mm. The reason is quite simple. Nkuma invested a lot of money into it. Mm. and make sure he even hired foreign coaches mm. I think one was from Sweden and the other one came somewhere from Hungary in those days and he had the results after Nkrumah the next person to get us a cup <laughs> was Kutu Ajambo ah. Kutu was minister he was, even though he was <laughs> head of state he was Minister responsible for sports. sports. <laughs> so you, you see where the yeah, case is again. Yeah. 
he put in a lot. And I remember when we won that cup, he sent a helicopter from Burma camp to come and pick the place to his residence at Burma camp. Mm. That was the third win. The fourth and the final one so far was on our rollings. But he didn't do the job. That's not the best way. Mm. That build up was done in the man's administration. Right. I mean, what is right? You should say it. Right. So to me, that credit should go to Liman. Because when we were even ready to go for that particular competition, then I had no money to help leave the boys. Mm. That's a woman. Gaddafi is sending an aircraft. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> there. And the Libyans were shocked that we defeated them. <laughs> you follow me? So, please, what I will say is that whoever is appointed or those those uh, the FA right. are going to make sure they are put what you call a technical thing. They must be people who are really interested in what they are doing. Right. They must be people with integrity. And they must be people who are strong. Mm -hmm. Because it's not easy to handle footballers. Okay. And uh, Doc, I have actually wrapped up, but I want you in 30 seconds. Is Kurt is work, working in your shoes now? Is he doing well? Can you describe him in 30 seconds? <laughs> well, I haven't really studied him much, but I will advise him to do less talking. Okay. And rather, show us a lot of work. Okay. Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, I want to say a very big thank you for honoring our invitation on one on one. It's been a pleasure and a learning curve for me uh, sitting before you. So thank you so much for I'm coming. so glad also and privileged that I've met you. In fact, <laughs> you are the second lady. The first one was a gift to appear. And uh, right. And we had an extensive interview. Right, right. And I'm glad. I'm happy. You, I'm, I'm glad. very happy. I'm happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.